हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्वागत है आपका हमारे चैनल पे मैं हूँ आशीष और इस वीडियो में बात करेंगे फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ द एम्प्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट तो वीडियो स्टार्ट करने से पहले अगर आपने हमारे चैनल सब्सक्राइब किया है तो तुरंत नीचे सब्सक्राइब बटन में क्लिक कर लीजिए और हमारे चैनल सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए आपको वीडियो पसंद आएगा दैन प्लीज़ हिट द लाइक बटन तो फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ एम्प्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है आपके एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से यूजली लगभग फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड या फोर्थ वीक में से क्वेश्चन आते हैं तो हम सबसे फर्स्ट वीक से लेकर फोर्थ वीक तक हाई डेवलपमेंट देखेंगे तो सबसे पहले कैसे स्टार्ट करें हम तो हम देखते हैं कि एम्ब्रॉनिक पीरियड कितना होता है ह्यूमंस में सो द जस्टेशन पीरियड ऑफ ह्यूमंस इज अराउंड फोर्टी वीक्स फोर्टी वीक्स सो वी डिवाइड दिस फोर्टी वीक्स इंटू टू पार्ट्स यू शुड नो व्हेन द बेबी इज कॉल्ड फीटस एंड व्हेन इट इज कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियो सो द फोर्टी वीक्स इज डिड इंटू टू पार्ट और द होल जस्टेशन पीरियड इज डिड इंटू टू पार्ट The first eight weeks, which is around two months, if you take four weeks a month, then it's around two months. Then first eight weeks is called the embryonic period. Embryonic period. So up to eight week, you will call the developing baby as the embryo, and after that, more than eight weeks, it is called the fetal period. so greater than 8 weeks it is called the fetal period fetal period so as you can see the heading is first week of embryonic development and not the fetal development so you should know remember by this we are study about the first week of the embryonic development so up to 8 weeks it's called the embryonic development now this for the sub division of the embryonic period it is again divided into two That is a germinal period, germinal, germinal period, and the embryonic period proper. ठीक है तो दो पार्ट में डिवाइड कर देते हैं जर्मिनल पीरियड और एम्ब्रियनिक पीरियड एम्ब्रियनिक पीरियड प्रॉपर एंड वॉट दिस वर्ड जर्मिन सिग्निफाइंग द थ्री जर्म लेयर्स डैट्स वॉट आर द थ्री जर्म लेयर वी हैव द एक्टोडोम मिजोडोम एंड द एंडोडोम द थ्री जर्म लेयर डैट वी हैव That or for the formation of the till the formation of the these three germ layer that is the process of gastrulation that we will see in the other parts of the embryology. So till the gestation period is up to three weeks, we call it the germinal period. So the first three weeks, the first up to you can say like this up to third week, it is called the germinal period, and fourth to eight. Fourth to eighth week is comes under the embryonic period proper because the all the three germ cells have developed and now the embryo is developing further. Okay, now this three weeks what happens? The formation of the three trilaminar disc. That is the formation of trilaminar disc or the process of the gastrulation take place. So the formation of germ layers. Formation of germ layers. Germ layers. so what happened what all processes we have to study about the first week so in the first week we have got a number of process that are occurring the first one is the cleavage cleavage second process that is occurring is the formation of morula formation of morula the third thing is the formation of blastocyst formation of blastocyst this morula formation of blastocyst and the last thing is occurring is the by the end of the week implantation so agar aapki question aapke examination mein aata hai to aapko sabse pehle batana hai ki pura hum kaise kaise divide karte hain embryonic period ko to thoda starting mein introduction dena hai fir first week pe aana hai first week mein following processes or changes are occurring first is the cleavage formation of morula then we have got the formation of blastocyst and last the implantation so we will discussing about the each process in detail but in the later part but in this video the main concern is the changes that are occurring in the first week so let me just introduce you to all the things about the four processes that are going to occur in the duration of the one week so what is this cleavage in case what happens one big cell 
with one nucleus divides into smaller cell divide into smaller cells with lesser cytoplasm but the total volume remains the same so the total volume is same and we have got a new cells by the formation by the process of mitosis by the process of mitosis new cells are forming but the total volume remains the same and the new cells are formed by the process of mitotic division so this is what happens in the cleavage what is formation of morula what happens as the cell number is increasing so when it reaches up to 16 cell stage 16 cell stage it is called the morula some books also refers from 12 to 16 but you can take it as 16 because it's followed by most of the books so it is 12 to 16 or 16 cell stage is called the morula now we have got a compact cell group of cells by the process of formation of morula and this number is further increasing now when it reaches around 32 to 64 cell stage cell stage the rearrangement of cells take place if you make a cross section and see you see that we have an outer layer of cells and an inner layer of cells which are separated outer layers are compactly attached with the help of tagged to junction sorry gap junction the help of gap junction and inner cell cells are little bit free so this outer layer forms a trophoblast and inner layer forms a embryoblast and when it enters the uterus the uterine fluid the uterine milk enters the cell and the mass or the volume starts increasing now we have got a distinct outer layer which is called a trophoblast trophoblast an inner group of cells which is called the embryoblast or inner cell mass embryo blast or inner cell mass or and here is the cavity so we have got blast like cells with with cyst like cavity so it is called the blastocyst okay let me just recap all this part we had a fertilized zygote what happens zygote undergoes the process of cleavage and we have got a number multiple of cells by the process of mitosis and this is called the cleavage process because the total volume is not increasing when the cell number increases from 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 8 and when it reaches to 16 cell stage it is called the morula that's the formula the second process that is going on in the first week now the morula also increases in number and there is arrangement of cells outer layers are free compact inner cells are free and which leads to formation of the embryo blast and the trophoblast that is the and it enters the uterine tube it forms the blastocyst now let us summarize into a form of table and see with the help of a diagram what's happening during the each day of the fertilization so this is the summarized table of all the processes that are going on in the each day of the first week day one what is happening in the ampulla part there is fertilization and the formation of zygote that is a one cell stage day, this is the day one in day two what's happening day two we have two cell stage at d2 that is day number two what is in third stage morula multiple cell stage is formed when it is around 16 d3 we have for the formation of the morula and fourth ray what is happening it's entering the uterus from the fallopian tube so the fourth day it is entering the uterus and at the earlier fourth day is also getting divided into two parts first 12 hours and the last 12 hours or the fourth and fourth first half and the second half what's happening fourth first half there is increase in the numbers of cells and it is called the advanced morula and by the end of the fourth day what's happening the there is a milk secreted by the uterus which enters the morula and forms the blastocyst so this is the formation of blastocyst and the implantation occurs 
after the zona pellucida covering is removed so during the hold from the formation of zygote till implantation it is surrounded by the zona pellucida because zona pellucida serves two function first function served by the zona pellucida is its it prevents polyspermy means it prevents the entry of many number of sperms inside the ovum and second is the it prevents ectopic pregnancy so it stops or prevents ectopic pregnancy as well as the polyspermy so zona pellucida this layer is very important and fifth day around the or the end of the fourth day what's happening hatching is taking place means the inside part is coming out that blastocyst is coming out from the zona pellucida and it is getting attached to the endometrium on the near about the end of the fifth day or the sixth day so it is getting attached to the endometrium okay and the process of implantation start you can refer to many books and check implantation occurs from day 5 or starts usually start on average starts from day 5 as soon as the hatching takes place the implantation process start because it's not a single day process it takes many days and end that day 12 okay when the fetal placenta circulation is finally formed so in the day right day 7 the implantation process is going on so this was a summarized table of all the process that are going on in the first week if you like the video please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel thanks for watching